Welcome to NHL 360. We're here at the rink at American Dream, and we're in a particular spot on this rink, the geography of which where history was made 40 years ago. The New York Islanders beating the Philadelphia Flyers in overtime. Daly goes to the puck. Took a hit from Nystrom. 4-4 four, four ties, seven minutes gone in overtime. Henning. Pass right on the stick of Tonelli. Coming in with Nystrom. Tonelli to Nystrom. He scores! Bob Nystrom scores the goal. The Islanders win the Stanley Cup. So let's get the guys in here who made it happen. John Tonelli. Bob Nystrom. All right. Let's go there. The play starts behind the net. I will unfortunately play the part of Bob Daly with the puck. And then who comes flying in? None other than Bobby Nod. Oh. What are you thinking there? Well, all I wanted to really do was to try to <laughs> hold the puck in this area, get a good hit on you mm. and, and, and neutralize you. And then Johnny was coming in from that side. But as it was, you were able to clear the Somehow, puck out. Somehow, I don't know how. And then you guys just went flying up the ice. So the puck comes up to the blue line area, and this is where things really unfold. I'm Islanders defenseman Stefan Pearson. I come in, I chip the puck up the wall where my teammate Lauren Henning gets it. He's gonna regroup and loop in the neutral zone, and then he fires a sharp pass to John Tonelli. What are you thinking at this point, John? This is something that we have practiced many, many times for at least 15, 20 minutes every practice. So now, I see the Flyers defenseman just back inside the blue line. I see Bobby. Bobby and I, we're reacting to what we've done in practice. We're going to crisscross. Now we have to execute. The crisscross has created a two-on-one with John and you, Bob, against Moose DuPont, who's a left-shot defenseman. Why is that important here? It's important in this case because I have to make a decision. Do I shoot or do I have an option to pass? And in this case, Moose had to kind of play me shooting as for a split second, along with Pete Peters, the, the goaltender. Yeah. So that created a lane yeah. to Bobby. And Bobby, you had kind of just darted towards the net, correct? Absolutely right, because John had gotten Bob Daly to bite, and Bob Daly had kind of moved over to the, that side of the ice. So I just broke in behind him, and I just wanted to give John an opportunity to pass it to me, you know, or look for a rebound if he shot it. Right on the stick of Tonelli. 